What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Super Mario 3D World Guide video. In today's video, we're going to go over World 1-3, collect all three green hidden stars as well as the hidden stamp in World 1-3. Now again, this one is fairly easy, so let's just dump right into it, not waste no time and just dive right into the world. Now the first hidden green star is literally right at the start on top of this tree. All you have to do is climb this tree. You're gonna see a little fairy up here. She's gonna do the little thing where you can look around. But as you can see, there's a star right there. All you gotta do is jump up and grab it. It does turn blue when you do look through the lens, but it is a green star. And as you can see, I got a green star. And on this side, again, there is another fairy with the, again, that you can look around and see what's going on within the level. Okay, everything from here is kind of straightforward as far as the hidden stuff is, is concerned. I'm just trying to make my way through the island so you guys can see. Grab a cat suit because you are going to be needing it in a second. As you can see, if you hit the pause switch right there, it's to reveal this hidden lock with a one up in it. We'll grab that. Continue our way up here. Get the power block so it breaks this wall right here. We are gonna need that. Up here, jump on this moving platform and get ourselves inside of this green tunnel to grab our next green star. Now, in this tunnel, unlike just attacking the Koopas that were in it, you're gonna have to collect blue coins after you hit the blue P switch. So I'm gonna hit it and immediately hold the run button and collect the blue coins now you should be good because after you collect a set of coins and they disappear the timer kind of resets so you do get more time and it, again there's no timer at the end to collect the green star you grab yourself the green star at the end I just recommend holding Y down and just basically dash around this little room you go super fast so you shouldn't have any problems grabbing all the coins and again the cat suit helps to climb the wall here to get those blue coins but you can grab those easily but just by jumping okay so let's jump out and then obviously you see it right up here is the stamp so let's go grab that and get the sticker stamp for the level continue get through these Goomba like that another golden Okay, for here, for this section right here, because there's not a lot going on, I like to just go here and just climb straight up. And as you can see, it's like a hit in the cloud here. You climb up this tree. And then you're going to get to this contraption right here. Now, we did skip a little bit of the level, but again, that's just platforming stuff to get up here if you don't have the Cat Mario suit. So, you are going to need the Cat Mario suit for this contraption right here is like a wheel that you have to spin only with the cat mario falls will allow this to spin so you you hit it and then you climb it and it takes you up here to this cloud now once you're up here in this cloud this is how you get the third and last green star so let's jump in shoot up out into the clouds and then get this gold star now there's a gold star that gives you Basically, you can just hit any enemy straight on and won't worry. Just run straight forward. I'm literally just holding the, the button to the right, and we are good. Just dive right off once you collect the star, and you're good to go. And what I like to do also is climb back up, jump on the cloud, and then use the cloud to climb over here climb up this to get another free one up mushroom now from here i'm gonna do a little like dive trick that i always do superman dive down here straight to the piranha plant the bottom plant. once you hit it twice it goes away dive into the box and you're basically just straight lining it straight to the gold pulse now i also wanted to go over this in this video as well people have been asking me how do you turn the gold pulse gold 
in the world select map. So when you are selecting a level, you see the goalposts. Some of them turn gold after you beat the level. Now, in order to turn that goalpost gold, what you have to do is climb to the top of the goalpost. So with a cat, Mario is probably the best way to do it because he climbs up by himself and then slides all the way on top. And then you see the flag turn gold right at the end of the level. And that is basically certifying it 100% completing the level when you do that. As making sure you have gone through all exits, collect all green stars, as well as getting the sticker, and it should turn gold out here inside of the world select screen. And that's pretty much it for completing World 1-3. I didn't want to do a video on World 1-A because that's just a quick boss fight, but let's jump in it real quick. I already have done this, and again, there isn't really much skill to this. All you really need to do is just literally just take off the helmets of these guys. What I like to do is just what I just did right there, have them run towards you and just jump. And then you'll bounce off all their heads until... They're yeah. all gone. And again, all you have to do is just bounce on their heads twice. One to knock off the helmet and the other to hit them. And again, they're gone. They're very easy, quick little boss fight. Well, mini boss fight inside of the game. So I, I just wanted to cover that because that is part of completing this 100%. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to complete this game 100% and go through each world level by level. Let me know in the comment section below if you are having other problems with this level or any other tips you would like to give that I somehow missed over or whatever the case may be. Let's talk about it in the comment section below. If you don't know, I answer all comments. So again, let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button for more videos just like this one. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video into recommended so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. Join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok, or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one